Welcome back everyone, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with trigonometry. So we're told that an isosceles triangle has equal sides that are each three centimeters longer than the third side. The angle between the equal sides is 40 degrees and we have to find the area of the triangle using trig ratios in the process. So as usual, let's try to take this scenario, put it in a diagram so we can see visually what's happening. So we have an isosceles triangle which is like this. So let's say that these two sides are the equal sides. And then we're told that each of these sides here, they are three centimeters longer than this third side. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce a variable X, which is gonna represent the length of that third side right here. And so if this is X and then these sides are three centimeters longer than this side, then that means that these sides here are going to be X plus three, X plus three, like that. So we have that and then we're told that the angle between the equal sides, which is this angle right here, right? The angle between the two equal sides, that is 40 degrees. So this here is 40 degrees like that. And given that information, we have to find the area of this triangle here, right? So notice we're not given too much information here. We're not given actual side lengths. So we're gonna have to solve for these X values somehow. We are given this angle here though. Now, just in general, the area of a triangle is what? It's base times height divided by two, like that. Now, this triangle, if you look at it, notice that the base of it, it is this X value right here. So this base here is gonna be the X value. Now the height of it, what we would do is we would draw an altitude from that vertex like this. Okay, so this is gonna be the height of the triangle. And so notice that actually in the process of doing that, we create two equal right angle triangles like that. Now, what we can do here is we can actually solve for this X value because these are equal sides here and this is 40 degrees. So if we draw a line right through, that means that these two angles is gonna split this 40 degrees in half. And so that means that, let me actually just erase all this here. That means that this here, this angle is gonna be 20 degrees, and then this angle is gonna be 20 degrees, like that. And that's important because now we have more information. We have a right angle triangle where we could use trig ratios to solve for these X values. Now, another thing I wanna mention is we got this, which is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, and that's in terms of X. But notice that this side here, we don't have an expression for it. We have an expression for this entire side, which is X, but we don't have an expression for this side. But notice that because it's an isosceles triangle, this altitude here, it's cutting it in half. That means that this side here, it's actually gonna be 0.5X or one half X, right? And then this here is gonna be 0.5X like that, because 0.5X plus 0.5X would give us that entire X value right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna draw a separate triangle here, the right angle triangle that we are working with. So this is 20 degrees like that. And this side here, it's 0.5X. And then this side here, the hypotenuse is still X plus three like that. And now because we have an angle in the right angle triangle, and we have two sides in terms of the same variable, we can solve for this X value. What we could do is we could set up a trig ratio here. Now, because this is the reference angle, 20 degrees, what side is this to this angle? Well, it is the opposite side. And then notice that this here is the hypotenuse. So which trig ratio deals with the opposite and the hypotenuse? Well, sine. So what we could do is we could go, okay, sine of 20 equals the opposite side, 0.5x over the hypotenuse, x plus three, like that. 
And now what we can do, we have an equation here in terms of just one variable. And so we could solve for that variable. So what we could do, cross multiply here. So we'll have sine 20 here times x plus 3. And then we'll have 1 times 0.5x like that. And then when you take this sine 20 and you input in your calculator, you'd get approximately 0.342. There's more decimals. I'm going to round it to three decimal places. And so what we can do from here is now we just solve this equation. So we could distribute this 0.342 inside the bracket. So we'd have 0.342x plus 3 times 0.342 would give us 1.026, and that's still going to equal 0.5x like that. And so continuing this equation up here, what we could do is we can bring the 0.342x over, right? bring all the variables to one side. So we'll be left with 1.026 on the left side, then we'll have 0.5x minus 0.342x like that. 0.5x minus 0.342x would give us 0.158x, and then we'll have 1.026 like that. Divide both sides by 0 0.158. Uh, so the x's cancel out. And when you do this calculation, you'd get approximately 6.5. I think it's 6.49, couple of decimal places. I'm just gonna round it to one decimal place. If you wanna be a little bit more exact, feel free to keep this in more decimal places. But I'm going to let x equal 6.5. And so that helps us a lot because now going back to our main triangle, well, this entire side is 6.5 like that. And then that means that this side here is 6.5 plus 3, which is 9.5 like that. And this is important because what we could do now, we have the base now, right? This is the x value, so that's this base, but we need this height, and so we can go back to our triangle here and solve for this h value, because now we have actual values for both of these sides. This side here, it's the 9.5, but this side here is um, 0 0.5 times 6.5, because remember, 6.5 is this entire side, so then half of that is going to be this side. So 6.5 divided by 2 or times 0 0.5 would give us 3.25 like that. Okay, and so from here, uh, there's actually multiple ways to solve for this, um, for this h value at this point. We have a lot of information. We can use this 20 degrees, maybe uh, set up a ratio let's say you could actually set up a ratio with this side or the hypotenuse. I'll set it up with the hypotenuse. Notice that this is 20 degrees. This is the adjacent side. And then this is the hypotenuse. So one way to solve for this would be saying, okay, cos 20 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, 9.5, like that. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is because we have two sides here, we can get this h value um, with the Pythagoras theorem, right? So we would have like uh, 9.5 squared equals h squared plus 3.25 squared like that. Okay, and so different ways to solve for this h value here, we could cross multiply. And so the h would be basically cos of 20 times 9.5. And over here, if we isolate for this h, bring the 3.25 squared over, square root both sides, so then h would be 9.5 squared minus 3.25 squared, all square rooted. And whichever way you do it, the h value you'd approximately get with both those calculations is 8.92. There's gonna be a slight difference between these, and the only reason why is because of the rounding that we did. We rounded this 6.5 meaning we rounded the 9.5, we rounded this side, but if there was no rounding done, if you kept it to a lot of decimal places this whole time, both of these would be exactly the same. Okay, but even with these 
you get approximately 8.92. I think this one would give you maybe 8.93 if you round it up, but I'm gonna keep it at 8.92. And so that's the height of the triangle. And so we're good because we have the base, which is 6.5. We have the height, which is 8.92. So we can now find the area of the triangle, right? So pretty cool question, a lot going on here. We had to set up some equations in a way where we could solve for the unknown, the x value, then we were able to find the h value, and then we could find the area. When you do this calculation, I think you'd get approximately 28.99. Let's round it to 29. And this is in centimeters, so this would be centimeters squared. So the area of this triangle with these parameters would be approximately 29 centimeters squared.